Hi everyone. Let's talk about Viswalk and pedestrians. Viswalk is the pedestrian modeling module in Visim. By default, your license comes with 30 pedestrians you can, that you can model simultaneously. Um, Viswalk objects are these ones in yellow. And the way you put a model together for pedestrians is that you have areas where pedestrians uh, walk and they appear on the model or spawn. You can also have like ramps and stairs where they can move. Elevators can also be used to move them up and down between different levels. You have pedestrian routes where you can define their routes and you can use obstacles to move their uh, movement and to influence their movement, so like walls, columns, stuff like that. So where to start? To start, we need to place areas. Origin for origin. So again, you hold on control and right click the same way you create a node in Visim. And you can just double click when you are done. Let's keep everything as default. Shape doesn't matter. Let me create a connection between the two. That. It can be any shape. You can add more intermediate points with control right click on the edge of the area. You can also use links. And each pedestrian area must be turned on. Okay. What you need to do is you need to add pedestrian inputs. You can add pedestrian inputs by using this tool here. You just press control right click on it and it will spawn pedestrians on this whole area where you use. Then you need to use pedestrian routes and move pedestrians from that to here. And you left click somewhere outside to go to ex exit the setting. Now if I run it, I need to have pedestrian volume, which you can change as the model runs. Then they will appear randomly in that area. Let me add a bit more. And as you see, depending on where they appear, they will use a different, um, a different route. As you see, the link is two-way when it's used by, uh, as a pedestrian area. Let me add... Okay, let's go back and try the fake uh, pedestrian input again. So if you go to traffic, you can use a different method called pedestrian OD metrics. And here you can already see what is there. But what you can do, you can add more origin destinations and basically you can build a matrix. To do that, I add an area another one maybe a small one here and move that overlapping the other one this is area number four this is area number two so if we go to OD matrix I had an origin two and I had a destination four so what will happen if I had uh, demand here If I demand here, I just reduce the other one so we can see more of these. And again, this is per hour, similarly what you would use in vehicle inputs. And now, So we have them moving. However, as you can see, let me just stop it. I did it from two to four instead of four to two, the one the way I want it. Because what you can do is I add an origin, let's do four, 
and I add the 300 there instead of here. Let me zero the others out. So you can force pedestrian to spawn in a tiny location. I'm an overlapping. And if you see, it already creates automatically routing as well for those two. So if you use matrices, it creates an automatic routing. However, you can't really change that routing. But if you, let me just clean it up a bit. But if you want, let me just do one area here and one area here. So if you add the pedestrian input onto that, let's do 200. And with the roots, starting from that, I want them to go here, but I want them to move all the way around. So what you do is you just basically drag those little intermediate points, and you can set, okay, I want them to go first there, I want them to go onto that area, and then I want them to go there. And if I run it, As you see, they use a distribution like different pedestrians, their speed, and then they go along. Let me stop that. And if you go to pedestrian composition in traffic menu, there is a man and a woman, and there is a speed distribution for them as well. So you can just basically tweak these, or if you want, you can add more. Uh, but you need to create them. There are already some defaults set up. With relative flows. So you can practice a little bit and look around. Okay, this was just the first video. In the next one we will go into more details. Thanks for watching.